Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, to those of you who are new to my videos, uh, that's the sound I make uh, when I see hysteria being presented as fact. Uh, the story goes, uh, when we were kids, we lived in Erie, we went to the Erie Zoo, and there was a, a wall with cage, caged uh, spider monkeys, and my brothers and I thought it was really funny to get them excited, and uh, we would do that just a few times, and then they would get all and, and jump around the cage, whoop, 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 whoop. They would drive themselves crazy. Uh, the zookeeper came out at least once, told us it wasn't funny. We, I don't think we uh, did it anymore. <laughs> But I, I uh, use it a lot of times, uh, uh, a lot of times I've used it in the past in reference to the American psyche and how easy, easy it is to whoop, whoop, whoop and get the American psyche going. Uh, the uh, news media, if you watch it, is uh, somewhat predictable. I've been watching the North Korean... Nah, 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 threat lately, uh, having been to South Korea, uh, wanting to go to North Korea but not finding the time, it's a very poor country, uh, its chance of threatening the United States is about like that of Iraq or Cuba, uh, they're very poor people, so they thought to put sanctions against, which they put sanctions against Iraq, uh, sh well, not not shortly before we, before we invaded them the second time illegally and immorally. Not that I have an opinion on that, but um, <clears throat> they uh, estimate that three hundred thousand innocent people died because of the sanctions. I read somewhere where they guessed that uh, probably around a million North Koreans are going to not make it very long in this lifetime because of the sanctions that the UN and the US deem as necessary from these evil bastards that are um, plotting against us even though if they have nuclear capability and that's a great big if, that's a big if, uh, it was provided by the United States. Uh, but I wondered what it, where it was leading to. Uh, looking at it thinking, you know, what are they, are they going to invade another country illegally and morally and are the American people going to fall for, instead of saying nuclear weapons or instead of saying, excuse me, weapons of mass destruction, da -da -da, it's nuclear weapons as if changing the word will uh, make it legitimate. But uh, what I read yesterday was now we are stockpiling anti-nuclear devices on the west coast of America. Well, if it's not news to anybody, America has new, more nuclear weapons than it will ever use. They have refused to sign any non-proliferation uh, treaties. And uh, it's, it's, like I said, it's predictable. I've been wondering, okay, what's, what is this all about? Now, instead of spending, instead of the government spending money on kids' education, health, taking care of the people that are uh, struggling in America, they deem it absolutely uh, correct to put it in weapons that we don't need. Uh, a couple of examples, I mean, Iraq is the easy one. When we went into Iraq, I was screaming not over the Internet, but just screaming that it's not right, it's not moral, it's not legal. They do not have, um, I think the movie with uh, Sean Penn is called Fair Game, if you want to see just part of what the government is willing to do to uh, keep people quiet. Uh, this just brings me to a segue, and I've talked about this. When the young black man flew from Amsterdam to Detroit with a bomb on his leg, uh, and it didn't detonate, it, there was no intention for it to detonate. I knew it was a setup. Uh, my wife was looking at a magazine in Switzerland, and there's this smiling young man, and somehow intuitively I said to her, oh, that's not the kid that they're blaming. She said, yeah, that's him. They have a picture of him. Uh, out of the millions or billions of people, <laughs> they have a smiling picture of this kid. Yeah, let's presume that it might be a little bit of a setup. And what came out of that? These uh, ineffective, uh, questionable on their health care effects, because nobody's allowed to question that anymore, uh, scanners that I personally refuse to go through. But uh, apparently, politically, that was... Uh, advantageous for somebody uh, to put those scanners in the airport, economically advantageous. And if you refuse that, which I do, then you get somebody to illegally, immorally pat you down. They touch you and they're allowed to do that. And it's not allowed most places. 
Yeah, but uh, or maybe not most places. Maybe just civilized places, and I use that term very loosely. But America, wake up. Wake up. Look at the setup. The stories have been going for days, and then Yahoo uh, has the comments on the bottom, which I think even those are fictitious. Let's annihilate them. Let's kill them. Let's, you know, let's, you know. It's like, I think even the comments are fictitious. I don't think even those are trustworthy. But now uh, we're going to spend millions, if not billions, of taxpayers' dollars to put a defense network on the West Coast, which is absolutely unnecessary. It's overkill in the worst uh, measure. But, whoop, 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 whoop. Let's all be afraid. Let's all stay in our minds. www.micpeakperformance.com.